All right, welcome back. Uh, while I was at it, I, in addition to waiting for the install to finish, I also installed a bootloader and did the basic configuration stuff. Uh, for those pieces, you'll want to refer to my previous Arch installation video. It's just configuring the locales, uh, generating the FS tab, doing the Arch cheroot, that sort of thing. So I'm in here now. And there are two piece, two places that differ from the standard install that we need to take care of. So the first one is creating the RAM disk. What we have to do is go into my mkinitcpio.conf over here, and we have to add a build hook. Now this build hook is already in here. I put it in uh, LVM2. This will not be there by default, so you have to add it exactly where you can see it in this file. The positioning is very important. It must be there. Okay, so once that has been added between block and file systems, you'll want to run mkinit cpio p linux just as you would for a regular install, and you'll see it finds LVM2 and builds that hook exactly as it should. And then it will build the the backup version as well here, the fallback. All right, now that that's done, we have to do the bootloader. Now I've already gone ahead and downloaded the package, but for grub, all you'd have to do is do pacman s grub. It's not a complicated download, or complicated install, I should say. And then you have to actually put it where it needs to be. That doesn't happen by default. So before we do anything, we have to edit some defaults. So if you go into Etsy default, grub. You'll see here this command line Linux default place here. This needs to specify where the root is. So our root directory is at slash dev slash mapper slash vol group zero zero dash root underscore volume. I believe. And then in addition to that, we have to go down here to the preload modules and add LVM to that list. There we go. And let me just quick double check that it is vol group 00 root underscore vol. I just want to make sure that I got that right. Yeah, okay. Good, good, good. So now we can just go ahead and install it. So to install grub, all you have to do is run grub install, recheck, slash dev, slash, and then this will be the first one, the first disk. Um, it'll spit out some errors about LVM here, but they're just warnings. And then we have to make our configuration file. So, grub mkconfig dash o slash boot slash grub slash grub dot cfg. Again, it throws out a whole bunch of warnings. But in the end, it does finish without error. And we should be good to go. So I'm just going to set a password for myself here. All right. 
and we're going to try this out. Ah, right. So we have to exit out of the cheroot and reboot the system. And then hopefully we configured everything properly and we can boot it. So we're going to boot existing OS, grub loads, I want Arch Linux. All right, it looks like it worked. And we are in. So it, we have successfully installed a system running on LVM. Now I'm gonna cut this video here. And in the next one, I'm going to show you, down that we have the system installed, how we can use LVM to change the sizes of all of our partitions. So just to give you an idea here of what we're looking at, the, if we look at the FS tab file that we generated, I did this off screen, it's just the gen FS tab, you do it exactly the same as you normally would. We have our root volume mounted on root, we have our home volume on home, our boot on boot, and swap is just swap. So. I'll show you how we can change the sizes of those on the fly in the next one. Until then, I will see you guys later. I hope that this video was helpful.